our lesson today is going to be based on geometry that is circles find the equation of a line which passes through the point 5 2 and run parallel to the line 2y minus x is equal to 3 so we are asked to find the equation of a line and then we are given a point and then a line so before we can find an equation of a line we need gradient and a point we have a, we have the point over here that is 5 2 gradient we don't know so we can extract the gradient from the line the given line which is 2y minus x is equal to 3 so 2y is equal to 3 plus x and then y is equal to 3 over 2 plus x over 2 so the gradient here is the coefficient of the x so therefore the gradient m is equal to half so we are, now we are having the gradient and then the point and then the equation of the line is given by y minus y1 is equal to x m into x minus x1 so our y1 is 2 and then our x1 is 5 so y1 2 x1 5 so we fix it into the equation to get the line our m is half and it's 5 then we get 2 y minus 2 is equal to x minus 5 so we expand the brackets So we send what is at the right hand side to the left hand side, which is 2y minus x minus 4 plus 5 is equal to 0. So 2y minus x. Example 2. Obtain the equation of a circle which has the point A25 and B18 of the extremes of a diameter. So let's draw the circle. So this is the point A, 2, 5, and point B, 1, 8. So this becomes our diameter. And then we let any point. Let's say point P, X, Y, B on the circle. So assuming here. So P, X, Y, joining A and B. But angle APB here should be 90 degrees. So if angle P is 90 degrees, then the gradient of this line and the gradient of this line should give us negative 1. So this is how it goes y minus y1 over x minus x1 into y minus y2 over x minus x2 is equal to negative 1 where our x1 equals 2 y1 equals 5 x2 equals 1 and then y2 is equal to 8. So we get something like y minus y1, which is 5, over x minus x1, 2, y minus y2, 8, and then x minus x2, which is 1. So with this one, we try and eliminate the fraction by multiplying through with the denominator. So we get something like y minus 5, y minus 8, 
is equal to negative 1 of x minus 2 x minus 1 so this time this gives us y squared this time this gives us minus 8y this time this minus 5y plus 40 is equal to minus 1 into this time this gives us x this times x squared this time this gives us minus x minus 2x plus 2 so we get y squared this time this gives us minus 13y plus 40 is equal to minus x squared this plus this this plus gives us minus minus 3 minus 3x times this gives us plus 3x minus 2 so we transpose what is at the right hand side to the left hand side so we get y squared minus 13y plus 40 plus x squared minus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0 so we get we arrange it properly x squared plus y squared minus 3x minus 13y plus 42 is equal to 0. Example 3. Show that the point Q, 1, 2, lies outside the circle. x squared plus y squared minus 3x plus 13y plus 42 is equal to 0. So, condition for a point to lie outside the circle, the right hand, the left hand side must be greater than the right hand side. So we are having a circle, x squared plus y squared minus 3x plus 13y plus 42 is equal to 0. So, and we are having point 1, 2. So we fix this point into the equation in order to check whether the left hand side is greater than the right hand side. So we get once 1 square plus 2 square minus 3 into 1 plus 13 2 plus 42 is equal to 0. So 1 plus 4 minus 3 plus 26 plus 42 is equal to 0. So this plus this 5 minus this 2 plus this 28 plus this 70. So 70 is greater than 0, which means the right hand side, the left hand side is indeed greater than the right hand side. So therefore the point Q, 1, 2, lies outside the same. So that if the line y is equal to ms plus c is a tangent to the circle s square plus y square is equal to r square then c square is equal to r square into 1 plus m square so we are showing that if indeed y is equal to ms plus c is a tangent to the circle s square plus y square is equal to r square then we should have something like this so we're having two equations here s square plus So this one will be our equation 1 and then y is equal to ms plus c equation 2 so since we, we already have s standing on its own we fix this one into equation 1 so we put 2 into 1 so we get s squared plus mx plus c squared is equal to r squared so we get this one is of something like s squared plus mx plus c mx plus c is equal to r squared so we get s squared plus m squared 
एस फोर प्लस टू एम सी एक्स प्लस सी स्क्वायर इसी को आर स्क्वायर सो वी ट्रांसफर दिस टू द अदर साइड व्हिच इज एस स्क्वायर प्लस एम स्क्वायर एस स्क्वायर प्लस टू एम एक्स सी प्लस सी स्क्वायर माइनस आर स्क्वायर इसी को टू जीरो so we are having quadratic equation now so we just arrange it properly we have a s square s square here so we can factorize it out so we get 1 plus m square s square plus 2 m c x plus c square minus r square is equal to 0 so we compare this with Comparing with a s square plus b x plus c is equal to zero, a will be one plus m square, b will be two m c, c will be c square minus r square, and then for tangency. B square minus 4ac should be equal to zero. So we have in B here A and C. So we just fix it into the equation. So we have 2mc square minus 4 into A 1 plus m square into C C square minus R square is equal to zero. So we get 4m square c square minus 4 into this time this is a c square this time this minus r square this time this plus m square c square this time this minus m square r square is equal to zero so the equation is divisible by 4 so we get m square c square minus c square minus r square plus m square c square minus m square r square which is equal to zero so we expand the bracket so we get m square c square minus c square minus plus r square minus m square c square plus m square r square is equal to zero so this and this will cancel so we are having minus c square plus r square plus m square r square is equal to zero and then we have to make the equation to be something like this so let's send this to the other side to make it positive so we get c square is equal to m square r square plus r square and then we get c square is equal to r square r square they are common so we factorize r square out plus one so we can also write it as r square into one plus m square 